the transition from paper to electronic records is very difficult for most physicians. Um, it is a long, it's a, a long cur uh, learning curve. It's very time consuming. You will see a reduction in your revenue stream and patient appointments because it does take quite a bit of time to get to implement a plan to go electronic. But once it's done, it is so time saving and so efficient that it's definitely worth it. Um, I can't see now practicing without using an electronic system. First of all, be sure that your current EMR or one that you're considering purchasing meets medical home requirements. This means that it has the capability to do more than just keep a list of individual patient data, but allows you to aggregate patient data and look at it in different aspects. You will want to be able to see the sex and gender ratio of your patients or break down the data by disease state. You would need to be able to generate reports and that's part of the, the, the patient population data. You need to be able to put in um, how many males over 55 have diabetes or I can audit how many patients are on X drug. Um, especially um, you need that for the quality measures that insurers are asking for. Um, I think it's nice to have the patient portal where patients can access information and be able to access the physician or the practice. I think patients really like to do that even if it's something routine like a prescription refill. They don't have to call the office and be put on hold or try to make time during their work day. They can simply do it after hours when they're on the computer at home. Email me. I get the, the email in the morning when I open my office and we can address it then. It's convenient for everyone all around. One of the biggest things that we had problems with with paper charts is having data available. Um, in the old days, which wasn't that long ago, um, when patients had laboratory testing or x-ray tests, they were either mailed to us or faxed to us and then filed in the patient's chart. Um, but a lot of times there was delay in getting the results. It could have been misfiled. It could have been, you know, we just haven't received it yet when the patient had their appointment. So we would have to track down the results which caused um, with a lot of time for the staff on um, patient inconvenience. Um, now everything is automatically interfaced, our labs, our x-ray reports, so that when I open up a patient's chart at a visit, I have their recent labs, their recent x-rays, even consult notes from other doctors if they're on the same system. I can access that just with a click of the mouse where before my staff would have to call the agency and track down and have it faxed to us. And you can imagine the time involved with that um, would be excessive. You usually, you start several months before you actually go electronic because what we have to usually do is abstract the information from the paper records. What you have already, you need to put in the pertinent information into the electronic, into the computer. So you, what I did, we, we knew the date we were going live electronically. We scheduled very few patients that day um, because literally it takes two to four times as long a visit to do it electronically when you're just getting started. But before the patients even came, like even weeks before, we would put in information like their current medications, their allergies, their medical history, their surgical history, um, social history, all of those things that were constants that we knew from their paper charts, we were entering manually into the electronic record. And unfortunately that takes a lot of time. But then at least when you see the patient the first day when you're going live electronically, you have at least some of their basic information and you can get a sense of why they're there and move forward.